So, you want to be a star in the world of MMA, huh? But in the hours at the gym, on the road, and in the kitchen, and now you're ready, not just to be a fighter, but to be the next big star. The UFC is home to the greatest fighters on planet Earth. The men and women who reach the pinnacle of the sport find their homes here, thrive here, and become world champions here. There's no doubt that these fighters are the best of the best, but not all of these fighters become stars. And by stars, we mean casual friendly, household names that your next door neighbor or coworker know. You know who we're talking about, the Ronda Rousey's, Conor McGregor's, and Khabib Nurmagomedov's. What makes these fighters stand out among the rest? Let's take a look at what you gotta do to become the next big MMA star. First and foremost, the most important factor to becoming a star is being a phenomenal fighter. Not just good, but truly ahead of the rest. Take a look at the rise of the biggest stars of all time. Ronda Rousey was so good, she became the reason women were able to fight in the UFC and went on a six fight finish streak in the promotion. Conor McGregor, the global phenomenon, stormed through the UFC, winning 10 of 11 fights and making history by winning two belts simultaneously. Habib is undefeated at 29-0 while looking completely unstoppable. Fighters that don't win in astounding fashion and capture the gold never become stars. Those wins can't just be dominant though, they must be exciting. We have dominant fighters like Kamar Usman or Joanna Young Jacek who have impressive win streaks but lack the excitement needed to draw in the casual fans. Be exciting and don't lose and you'll be on your way. But you can't just be a good fighter. The casual viewer doesn't just care if you're good. You need to be able to talk. For example, Jose Aldo, a longtime vet and a great, exciting fighter, never broke out of the MMA bubble. That's not to say he's not a big name, but the highest he ever got in terms of stardom was becoming a fan favorite. He never broke into the mainstream and captured the awe of the general population. The reason? He didn't have the gift of speech. The biggest stars in UFC history had another talent aside from fighting, and that is marketing. Rousey was the mean girl, the woman who was so rude she captured the attention of the mainstream sports outlets and fans. People tuned in to see what she was going to say, and this, comboed with her incredible fights, garnered her more and more fans. Conor McGregor, another fighter who was able to market himself. Whether it was an iconic post-fight interview or a press conference full of iconic one-liners, Conor was able to capture the awe of the people. He talked the talk and then went into the octagon and walked the walk. And whether you wanted to see him win or lose, you were watching. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule, and that man is Habib. Habib was a great marketer himself, but in a different way than the aforementioned two. Habib didn't talk trash, he was just blunt and honest with every interview. When he trash talked, you could tell that it wasn't some act, but he just genuinely didn't like his opponent. But no matter what he said or how he said it, he'd go into the octagon and maul his opponents. This way also works, and it doesn't always have to be brutal insults and jabs. I'm very glad you won that fight, Matt, but uh, I'm not impressed by your performance. Let's say you're a whiz in the cage and a wit on the mic. What comes next? Easy. Beating other stars or big names in the world of MMA. Whether it be a fan favorite or a champion, to become a superstar, fighters must propel themselves past these obstacles in jaw-dropping fashion. Connor was a big draw. But the day he dropped Jose Aldo, a living legend and the featherweight champ of the world, he became a global icon. Habib was mauling his way through the lightweight division for years, but the day he became the megastar we know today was when he smashed his way through Connor. Beating on unranked and unknown fighters may pad a fighter's record, but will garner no recognition in the casual community. That's why Demetrius Johnson never broke through the casual viewer. Even though he held the record for most title defenses and was generally an exciting and likable fighter, until you beat some big names in astounding fashion and become the world champ, there's very little chance a fighter will become a superstar. Of course, it's not as easy as 1, 2, 3, where if you do all three of these, you become a superstar. Maybe you've hit the trifecta, but it doesn't guarantee stardom. Take a look at Colby Covington. He's been dominating all of his opponents, talks a ton of trash, and even captured the interim belt but he never made it anywhere close to stardom. Why? That's because the promotion itself won't promote Colby like they would Connor. Sometimes fighters take the trash talking way too far and this is frowned upon by the UFC. Without the company pushing you with promos, conferences and interviews, 
there's very little chance that you'll make it into the big leagues. If Dana doesn't like you, well, tough luck. But hey, maybe you don't want the UFC to push you. Maybe you want to be a self-made superstar. It may seem impossible, but there is a way. Some people don't start their careers in the MMA, but end up being superstars in this world. You know who I'm talking about, the brute himself, Brock Lesnar. Brock was a global superstar from his time in the WWE, and when he made a jump to MMA, he brought legions of WWE fans with him and set pay-per-view records at the time. So, if you don't want the company to push you, well, just become a superstar somewhere else and then join the UFC. Come on, that's pretty easy, right? Well, maybe this way isn't for everyone. Oh, and there's another thing. Don't be the center of multiple controversies, folks. Sure, you might be good. Maybe you might even make it becoming a normal star in the UFC. But there's only so many things you can get away with before you lose your chance at becoming a superstar. Especially if you get caught for performance enhancing drugs. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just don't do drugs. Take a look at John Jones. Widely regarded as one of the GOATs of MMA. But he's never broke into the mainstream like some of the others. Why? Every time he's on the cusp, he's plagued by controversies and suspensions. He loses the company's trust and, more importantly, the fans trust in him. If the fans don't trust you and love you, you'll never become a superstar. Becoming a star is something every fighter tries to attain, but very few ever do. They grow the sport and bring endless excitement and depth. Some are destined for stardom, while others are doomed to the prelims. Maybe you'll be the next big star following the rules we've outlined in this video. Hearing all of them in a list might make it seem easy, but if it was, we'd all be boxing Floyd Mayweather for $100 million. Before we go, we have an announcement. If you're a fan of MMA, but just don't have a lot of friends to talk to, I'd like to announce that we finally made our Discord server public for everybody. Our Discord server is meant to create a sense of community where you're able to talk, debate, share memes, come online during fight nights and chat with other like-minded people just as yourself. If you're interested, the link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.